Whoa, hello. How are you? <laughs> so listen up. I don't care if you listen or not, but dude, I got to get this out. Yellow teeth, cold sore on the lip and all. So, I've had some friends of like 30 years or more interact with me on my page for the first time in quite some time. Facebook page, that is. And I love that they're interacting. It was great. Thank you. Appreciate that, guys. But the thing is, is there was a couple of things going on. One, I, the, the assumption of me being emotional took place. <laughs> emotional in the emotion instead of the emotion. So, um, and the fact that they just, well, one of them just came at me without even asking me, yo, Jeff, is this like, I'm reading this. Here's how, like for me, like good, like a healthy conversation, you read a post and it sparks some emotion inside you. You're like, whoa, geez. Now, if I care about the person, yeah, come on over, bud. So if I care about the person, then, um. Then, then I hit him up and I'm like, yo, man, check this out. I just read your post and it made me feel like like emotionally gritty, kind of angry, like like angsty. Is that how you meant it? And then they would say to me, yeah or no. And then I could say, whoo, okay, well, blah, blah, blah. Well, none of that took place. So it was just an assumption that I was angrily emotional. <clears throat> because I told people, if you're, if you, like, seriously though, like, like, if you are supporting Trump, that means you're looking past a few major things that I cannot look past. And the three major things for me, as I'm discovering, there might be more, but there's three major things. One is greed. The man is a fucking greedy pig. <clears throat> the other thing, the other two things is the bigotry and the racism. So... <clears throat> If you're supporting him, you're looking past those characteristics of him. Now, me as a person who can't look past those things, I just won't interact well with Trump lovers. I just know this. And, and, and honestly, the, the, the whole Facebook thing and texting and all that stuff, it's a, great, it's a great area for conducting social experiments because this is what it is now, guys. This is what it is. And so we're not going to go back to pen and paper and the crow sending messages pigeons, whatever, doves. We're not going back to that. This is where we're at now. So I've been doing and conducting experiments for since Trinity was just learning how to walk. So 12 years. And any of you who know me, I'm, I don't hold back. So I get, I get a lot of juice out of my uh, experiments. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's funny. It's fun. I love it. Anyways, I sure wish people would just ask me how I mean instead of assuming. Anyway, because you know what they say about assuming, right? I mean, I'm not going to say it. Y'all know. Something about donkeys and stuff. I don't know. So anyway. Uh, yeah. I posted on my Facebook page. Like, you know, I'm not trying. I'm not trying. This is why I don't believe in trying, by the way. I'm not trying to be, like, confrontational, but it's being received confrontationally. And so I, I deleted that post. I deleted, if you're, if you're a Trump lover, delete me. I deleted that post because it just, it was kind of meant to be funny in a way, but all of us, it didn't, it turned out to not be funny. I got ganged up on by my own friends. It was crazy. <laughs> Made me laugh, actually. Whew. Okay, so bigotry, racism, and greed. For the human, this is kind of like... Yeah, for the human, this is kind of like primary colors. Racism, bigotry, and greed. With those three elements as a characteristic of a human, you can become all the dirty, nasty, ugly shit you want to be. Just any mixture of combination of those, you can be pretty, pretty nasty. And I've recently fully engaged with my conservative friends. Um, fully with respect, by the way, totally respectful. They were, all my responses while fully engaged into their, let's call it gluttony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
all I said on one post was, yeah, but Bernie's, they said he was old. And I said, yeah, but he's got some young and fresh ideas. And I, I got laughed at, this and that. Next thing you know, three or four different people who I've never met calling me names. All this, oh, it was just, it was brutal, brutal. And, um, <clears throat> I notice this is look these are just my preferences guys if you love Trump if you love him we're not going to get along period so I have an allergy to Trump lovers I'm allergic to their greed their racism and their bigotry so much like a bee sting and those people who are allergic to bees, I see people who are allergic, I'm not allergic to bees, whew, but I see people who are allergic to bees, they get a little frantic when a bee comes around. I'm not frantic, it's not like that. But I do also notice that people who are allergic to bees, they don't go seeking out bees. And when the bees do come towards them, they just remove themselves, that's it. There's no judgment. The bee's not going, God, she's so mean. She's judging me because I'm flying too close. <laughs> Whoo, bedhead. Gotta love it. Till the next time, yo. Primary hatred. <laughs> Bigotry. Racism. Ra <laughs> Bigotry. Racism. Greed. The common characteristics of a Trump lover. And I'm allergic to it. Bye.